Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Research a company thoroughly before an interview. I had somebody hit me up on one of my uh, on a, one of my Patreon sites about that. They wanted to know, you know, how to approach the interview and everything. And one of the things I told them is research the company. Know what you're getting into. Sometimes when people go for a job, and it surprised me when I started seeing this. Because I've been on the human resources. Well, not on I say a hiring manager's side. And people will go, and this has been government, retail, all of that. And, you know, a lot of people, they know the job makes some money. They have a general idea what the job does. And they'll go in for an interview. And then when they're talking, they don't, they don't make an impression. Now, first of all, you, if, you, if they even call you for an interview, you got the on-paper qualifications. You already do. And before I go further, just to be clear, yes, I promote being an entrepreneur, but I'm also realistic. And plus, you might have a call in that requires you to actually work for someone. There's nothing wrong with that. It really ain't. As long as it's your calling. It's only a problem if you really don't want to do it and you not don't have an idea how to get out of it. But if it's something you really want to do or you just need it anyway, to uh, get to a certain uh, level, keep the bills paid. Yeah, definitely. So, but you got to get the interview first. You got to get the interview first. You got to go through it. Because you understand with the interviews, as I, as I was saying, when you go on an interview, they're not going to interview you unless you got the on paper qualifications. All right. You already in there as far as that. You got to have that. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. You got to have the on paper qualifications but then when they call you up see the thing with the interview they're not even going to talk about your qualifications hardly let me say that again they don't really talk about your qualifications i mean they might ask you some basic questions they might ask you some but they're just trying to get a, uh, a sense of how you will fit in and then even what your knowledge is beyond what you have on paper because I never forget, I learned this from a friend of mine who worked for a major law firm in D.C. when he got out of law school. And he said, you know, the attorneys there, they told him. I was like, you know, they ain't really teach you anything in law school. We got to teach you what we do. So you got to have that attitude. So here's the thing. One of the things, that, well, two things you need to be, and I should have probably put that in the title. One, you need to be personable. They looking at you like, would this person fit in? Seriously. They want to know if they will click. Are you the type of person that could go into that job and click? But then they want to know if you really want to do the job. You really going to do the job. And they concerned about that. Like, I remember when I was working retail and I was cool with a, a, a manager. She used to tell me a lot of stuff. And this young lady came in who I actually knew as well and who had actually worked there before, like in a temp position, came in for a job. But she wasn't big on it. And the manager said, you know, I couldn't hire her because she'll leave. You know, so they'd be looking at, you know, because she was educated. And she, you know, she ended up getting a way better job. And that's cool. But they looking at a lot of little things. Now, one of the things when I say research a, cl a company thoroughly is one of the things that really impressed them is they feel like you can truly fit in. Not somebody who just got the credentials and they had to do a lot of training with, but somebody who could walk into that job and basically get started day one, has some enthusiasm about it. What do you do? You do, you research the company itself. Now, of course, you probably know generally what they do because that's why you apply to them, but okay, what they into? What they do? Are they into any charities or anything? Seriously, you know, what do, how much can you find out about the corporate culture? How much can you find out? What indications do they give? Like, look them up. Google is your friend. Look them up. I mean, and I would say this, too. I would say this. Don't just look up, like, the official site. They're only going to have good things on there and say, we're doing this and that. Look it up, but look at other stuff. Do a Google search. Anybody got any negative thing to say about them? Anybody's talking about the culture there? What they saying outside of it? Like, most major companies, like... Uh, especially in the retail field, but other stuff, they might have, they, there's somebody out there talking some trash. See what type of trash is being talked. Seriously, just try to get an idea. Try to look at people outside of it. That's the type of research you do. See, that's the thing 
with it. Now, of course, if you know somebody who works there, ask them some questions. Take them out to lunch. Say, hey, you know, tell me what y'all doing. Okay, all right, you told me that. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know they do this. I know they making money here. So tell me about the culture there. Like, try to find out. Is it one of those button-up cultures? Yeah, I know we still have, we got plenty of people. They're going to work in T-shirt and jeans or shorts when it's warm and all of that. But all the companies aren't. You know, how they respond. And look, we got to bring the racial thing in. What, I mean, yeah, plenty of companies, they give lip service to diversity, actually have a position, usually with a black person in there or, well, mainly with a black person when they're saying it or Hispanic or whatever. All right. And they'll have that. They have the official thing. What they really do, though? What do they really do? Like, and that's that's a little tougher. That's a little tougher. You would have to know somebody who actually worked there. But that's part of your research. Try to research every little angle. You know, yes, you got the official stuff. You know what they do. Try to research it. And then looking in, I'm going to tell you what. What industry are they in? What do you know about the industry? And I'm saying that because... Regardless of the position you win, if you have an idea about the industry in general, when you come in there, you're an asset to them because you know what's going on. And then if you see stuff going on in the industry, when you get in there, you could actually move up in the company. You could actually move up in the company by saying, well, you know what? This is some stuff happening outside of here. Here's what we need to do. Or like uh, even check out other businesses in that industry and see what they're doing. Just get an idea. You know, you want to like as thoroughly as you possibly can. And then when you're going into the interview, you just talk about it as well as being person personable in everything. You can talk about it and say, yeah, this is some stuff going on. You know what? Because they might ask you, is he talking? And say, well, what, do you, what would you bring to it? Well, you know what? I've been really studying this industry. I've been studying this and I've been studying the company. I see everything that you're about. Yeah, I got good reviews outside of the company. But beyond that, this industry, this, this, and this, and this stuff is coming up. And this is something I really looked at. I could probably bring some initiative, like a good interviewer. See, a good interviewer, regardless of the company, they're going to be looking at every little thing. They're going to look at your attitude because I've seen people, they wouldn't, they had credentials, but wouldn't get hired because of it. Like, let me give you something. It, it, this is how important it is to make that impression. I remember one of my first jobs I got, I was working as an investigator with this company that, uh, you know, did investigations for defense attorneys. And I was sitting with the owner of it. And we're looking at uh, like different resumes and I'm seeing all these great resumes. It's looking good. I'll say, yeah, well, we can get this. He's like, no, no. I mean, like flashy resumes. He looked at one resume. It wasn't as flashy. He said, that person be hungry. They're going to work hard. So, boom. And I know I talked more about than more about research, but you still want to know what company you're getting into. What's the company about? Any news about them? Because then you can get an idea how to approach the interview. Also, like the industry itself. All very important. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Let's go make that money. <laughs>